Hello YouTube, Tim here with the Grozer Bow. I'm going to do a draw on the tillering tree with the scale. We can see exactly what it weighs at what draw length. Its stated draw weight was 85 pounds, 28 inches, and they say it can be drawn to 30. I probably won't push my luck drawing it to 30 inches, especially not right now. So the first time I strung it, I half draw it a few times. I'm just letting it get used to being drawn because I don't know how this is going to respond. It's semi-organic, so to speak. It has a horn, sinew component, and a wood component. Yes, there's fiberglass in there, but this is a really highly stressed short bow. So, you know, bear with me while I try and break it in a little bit and loosen it up and just get it used to being drawn. I would not just string it and instantly rip it back to 30 inches. I, if, that seems to me like a recipe for disaster. So let's go ahead, put it on the tillery tree. I can tell you a little bit about it then with its brace height. And we can test and see exactly what its draw weight is and if it matches up with what it should be. In this case, seven inches almost exactly. So now we just need to wait on the scale and let that warm up. So we'll check back in a minute. And of course, I'm not kidding. The second I hit the camera and turned the camera off, the scale pops on. So yes, it's a little cold outside, but today's only about 41 degrees. Much, much, much warmer than it has been. So let's start to draw it from its brace height of 7 inches. Let's see. Okay. Eight. At eight inches, one inch, it's 9.3 pounds. At 10 inches, it's 17 point74 24.0 29.9. Thirty four point four five pounds, thirty nine point one five pounds, forty three point four five. Forty-seven point one. Okay, and that was at eight plus seven, so fifteen inches. That's not bad. We are approximately halfway there. It's over fifty point four. same distance. I drew it twice to the same distance there. 16 inches that was. Now to 17. 53.85. 18. 56.55. Fifty nine point one five at nineteen inches, twenty inches. Here we come. Sixty one point seven. This is quite a hefty bow as you'd expect. And believe me, I can tell it really compresses the body when you draw it. I feel my joints compressing and my whole body just getting shorter and tighter under the pressure of it. So it's, it's a heavy bow. 21. 21. 
22. Sixty seven point nine five. Twenty three. Seventy one point four five. Let's bring it to twenty four. Man, I mean the tension on the uh, the ratchet here. But this is really intense, even there. It feels tight enough to make me a little bit nervous that it's going to explode, but I've had no indication that that's going to happen. Let's just keep trucking on, shall we? 24 inches. Seventy-five point five pounds. Seventy-five point five to twenty-four, twenty-five inches. Eighty point six at twenty-five. Six pounds, and that is basically what I'm going to call full draw. Here's my theory. The whole idea of a draw length is a very, very dodgy thing because I feel, in an, in a way, manufacturers wanted to standardize the measurement, and so in doing so, they created an artificial additive to a true, what I would call the true draw length from the belly of the bow to where the string is, and they add about 1.75 inches. That's simply the way the, I think the Archery Manufacturers Organization does it. And that way you come up with, to me, a sort of hard to deal with number because it doesn't really reference anything static. If you have a bow with a narrow handle, you might find that uh, it's not appropriate if you have a bow with a thicker riser. I don't know, it just seems to be an attempt to mark almost where the the point that you wouldn't want to normally pull the arrow past. With a bow like this, theoretically, you can even pull it past if you use your thumb in such a way. Some of the old archery manuals talk about that, overdrawing just slightly with the, the crook of your thumb like this. I won't do it, but nevertheless, draw length is weird. I like a nice fixed draw length, especially because the way I measure draw length from the belly of the bow, it also corresponds to your brace height, because now we say you have a brace height of 7 inches. Your draw length is 26 inches, 26 minus 5, or 7, I'm sorry. We have a 19 inch power stroke. It's simple math. The other way, oh, you have a 28 inch draw length, but you have a brace height of 7 inches. Well, okay, 28 minus 1.75 minus it's complicated, it seems unusual, and that's me. You do it however you guys like, but that's how I like it. It seems to me that 26 inches is truly where this bow is meant to be. Really, I bet 26.25 inches is where Grozer determined 28 inches in the AMO standard should be. Per AMO standards, that's totally correct. So let's go and now that we've drawn the bow, I'm gonna draw it a few times halfway by hand, fully by hand, if I can, and then we're going to shoot it. Okay. Half draw. And I can tell you, that is really freaking hard because that puts strain on every part of my body when I'm just drawing it halfway. I'm just trying to let the bow taste it and, again, work itself in on the theory that if I pulled it cold to a full draw, that could be really bad. One more half, hold it for one, two, three, four. Who needs a workout machine? Who needs a bow flex when you've got a bow? Wow. 
I'm probably going to be feeling this here and here tomorrow. And that's only from a few seconds. <sighs> Full draw. <sighs> Yow. That's pretty close to my normal full draw. It's three-fingered. If I was using the thumb draw, that would add maybe an inch, but it also reduces the string angle. Let's do it once more, and then hopefully I won't be too tired to go out and actually try and shoot the sucker. I won't get a chronograph today. Unfortunately, the weather is too nice, but I will in the future. I promise you that. One more full draw. Oh! Woo! Well, nothing's popping or uh, groaning and moaning on my end, but my muscles do feel it. So let me gather my things and we'll move to the backyard.